Hi there. One of the common approaches in evaluation that a lot of students take in the level economics is to use the phrase, it depends on. It's a standard approach. It's fine. It works well. Let's take a look at an example of a question from macroeconomics to do with the currency depreciation and the current account. Here's our question. To what extent will a depreciation of the exchange rate lead to an improved balance of trade? Nice, standard, straightforward question. And we're going to look at three ways in which you can use the phrase it depends on to, to help your evaluation. Here's the first point. A depreciation can make exports cheaper when priced in a foreign currency. This will increase demand. But this depends on the coefficient of price elasticity to demand for exports in overseas markets. Coefficient may be low, less than one, limiting the effect. Crucial point, of course, here it's the coefficient of elasticity that really makes a difference to the change in export sales. Second point, imports become more expensive in domestic markets, possibly causing expenditure switching effects. A nice bit of theory there. However, this depends on the supply side capacity of domestic firms to take advantage of the increase in demand. Their short run price elasticity of supply may also be low less than one, perhaps they're already operating close to full capacity or they have limited stocks of inputs available to increase production. A third point, fall in the exchange rate, depreciation makes it more profitable for export industries to sell overseas. They will lift their investment to take advantage. But it depends on whether businesses forecast the increase in export sales will be sustained the currency depreciation may only be temporary. Okay, so three points made and three uses of the phrase, it depends on to help your evaluation. 